What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another audio assemble tutorial. Today we are going to be taking a look at how to use routing folders in Pro Tools and why to use routing folders in Pro Tools. This is a follow-up video to our previous one, how to use folders in Pro Tools. We're just going over the differences between a routing folder versus a basic folder. It's super easy, but we wanted to explain it to you, help you understand the nuances of it all. So we're going to go ahead and select our drums because we're going to be using all of those in the drum folder. And if you remember the shortcut, it is shift control alt N and it brings up this window. We're going to change it from basic folder to a routing folder. We're just going to name this drums and we want to make sure we have it in stereo because we are using stereo imaging for the overhead left, right, and the room left and right. And make sure you keep it in samples here. Create does all of the routing real quick for you. And one thing I'm going to do real quick actually is change the two kick mics back to bus 11 because I do have my kick mics running through a separate bus for a little bit of extra processing and compression, have some saturator on there. So the biggest difference you'll notice between a basic folder and a routing folder is a routing folder has a fader as well as this level meter. If you scroll over here, You'll see I have another folder here for my leads. So this works simply as a grouping. It makes it easier to compress and hide all of them. It doesn't have any routing effects on it. It, it doesn't change anything other than the organizational aspect. A routing folder has to do with the actual signal chain. You see it has inserts for any plugins, sends. You have the little EQ window here. You have pan controls, IO the auto read, uh, uh, the group selections, everything. You can solo and mute the routing folder itself. So what I like to do whenever I have a drum bus is I actually just go really simple. I normally just throw a little bit of compression. I love the CLA 2A. Uh, it's perfect for this. Bring it over here. I'm just gonna hit play real quick. We'll go ahead and solo up the drums. Perfect. Those are the beefy tones I like to hear in there. So routing folders are super easy to pull up. It's great for routing uh, instead of having to use an actual aux send for any buses or anything like that. It's nice to have there and you can always collapse it once you have the drums, how you want them to be in relation to each other and control the actual levels with the fader right there. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this little video helps you out. Leave a like and comment down below. Let us know about anything that you have questions on or anything that you would like to see us do a video on. Make sure you hit subscribe. We've got a lot more videos like this along the way.